what's good guys welcome back to noob to pro series i don't know fifth or sixth probably fifth and we're here at power freaking plant power plant is unlocked on 52 gather yeah, this rebuild is gonna be a challenge for you guys but until when you get your combat level a little bit higher it's all gonna be easy freaking peasy so i usually open the door here throw a sedative bang bang and if you have a virus in your team just use a flamethrower you're gonna do hella of damage hella damage and right now i'm not using a shield i don't really need a shield for power plant but we gotta find a key now to this control panel room or whatever that is and i think i'm gonna die boys never mind i survived i survived we're good we're good but I don't have energy for my drone, so I should replenish those. Anyways, let's throw a sedative here, because when you activate this terminal here, lots of zombies are gonna pop out. So, yeah. And, oh my god, this guy is really annoying, dude. I really hate when you get, like, pounced, and then there's, like, a couple zombies coming over you, and then you get knocked again by them. That's what really frustrates me. Alright, these are clear. Alright, so for this part, after that, we open this gate here. And you can easily jump here on these pipes. Jump back in here. Boom, boom. Parkour a little bit. Parkour up. And go on these fences. There's going to be bugs. We're going to yoink them. Uh, you can use a GL, I think, but I'm going to use a, you know, shotgun. Because it's better. Because I can kill them faster. Yeah, all we gotta do now is just kill these bugs. And you shouldn't have dropped, homie. You shouldn't have done that. Enemies, I got you back. Let's kill these bugs. This one reset. Um, anyways, you have to, like, activate and go around there to get the spot. As you can see, you have to go through here. Once you kill the bugs, you can jump on the fences here, through there, and there. Kill these zom zoms. And I set off a call alarm, so that's not good, bro. Try to not touch cars, because that's gonna hurt a little. A couple zombies are gonna, you know, spawn in there and there, so try to not do that. And here's the boss, so... The boss is going to be a pain in the ass to kill, but we should be fine. So we can bait him around. He's going to chase me. But this is the best spot to actually, like, fight him safely. Mostly, he's just going to punch if you get close to him. But if you go really far away, he's going to dash like this and grab you. And he can also, like, jump in a spot. So there's going to be a big circle that you have to avoid. But yeah, like this, see? He just jumps. Try to not freaking go too far from him. Try to let him punch you and then just avoid his punches because... His punches are very easy to avoid. But yeah, man, the dude's a tank. Like, see, getting grabbed is uh really hurts you, dude. It's really annoying. I hope I don't die, man. Come on, come on now, really. And now we can activate that, and we gotta climb up. And there's gonna be birdies that we gotta kill. They will literally not hit you if you walk backwards. So if you just walk backwards, they're just going to keep flying over and over. And there's no way they're going to hit you. Yeah, see, they, they can't even touch me. So pretty much that's tactics. Very good tactic. All right, yoink. I hate, you know, climbing down ladders. So screw that. I talk to this guy, grabity grab the thingies he gives us, and these things are useless anyways, but uh, I guess I'll use them. It basically just distracts zombies, so you can loot these boxes. Yeah, there's a box here, so we're just gonna throw one down, and loot this box that there is here. We got a med kit, not what we're looking for, and there's a box here, literally free, easy box, just jump on these containers and looted we got nothing we need a key it's all we need boys this is gonna be the key this box right here bring it 
Okay, we didn't get a key yet. That sucks. Okay, so whenever you get the key, you can check here. Use the key to open the gate, blah, blah, blah. Here, it's going to change the text here. So that's when you know if you got the key or not. All right, so you open this. All right, and let's kill the boss now. My buffs are running out. But that's fine. It's really fine, because... I don't even need to buffer this thing. But yeah, try to kill this guy as soon as freaking possible because if you don't, the dude gets in berserk mode and you know, when he gets into berserk mode, things get nasty because the guy becomes so tanky that it's almost impossible to kill him. But I mean, it's still possible, it's still doable, you can still kill him in Berserk mode. Just that... It, it just... It becomes way too hard. And you can literally just roll out of his jump if you wanna. That's the benefits of Muzzle, you know? But uh, yeah, I'm, sc I'm screwed here. I'll just heal real quick. Roll out of that thing again. Why do you have to focus me, dude? Why do you have to focus me? Like, there's two other people that there is. Why is it, like, doing this to me, bro? This is why you want to have spare buffs, you know, in your inventory. Because I didn't bring any. And that is the problem. Kind of screwed me up and my damage is really low now. And this thing is going to take a while to kill. Just because of that one buff I didn't take. You know what I mean? Try to, like, be behind obstacles because the dude dashes if you're, like, in a really open area. So, yeah. Oh, and also I'm not using Unparalleled. I just forgot to do that. Alright, there we go. My damage should be higher because I'm using Unparalleled. Right, let's dash out. Ooh, that was freaking close, bro. Alright, so he's in berserk mode. See, he gets a little tankier. Really harder to kill him. But we got this. We got this. It's fine. And a little bit more. And be done. Alright, there we go. Finish. Complete. Okay, so... I will show you guys what gear I actually use and what you need for power plant. Let's open up this power plant box. We got a grade 2 hanging tassel. Cool. That's nice. Enable Levin City power. So we gotta do that. And we got SS. So anyways, after you get SS and like that shows up, you can press this button here and then leave. You don't really have to loot the box. What I did is I used Unparalleled, which means if you don't have any guns in your slots, you get 15% more damage. And this is how it works. You can see damage attribute. Now I have 46.3. If I take out a gun out of my slots like that and check my damage, is 61.3. So that's 15% freaking damage bonus. That's a lot. Next, my Ox mods. Those are really important, especially the sculpture. Damage bonus is really important. So if you want to have a lot of damage bonus, if you want to do a lot of damage, you got to have sculpture and, you know, this thing balanced out. It's not just about your muzzle and your stock. It's also about your ox, which is the sculpture and this. So, yeah, you want to have, you know, stock highest, lowest sight and muzzle in the middle somewhere there. Pretty much that's it. And you always want to have balanced grade mods. So try to get grade two, grade two, grade two, because jump suppression 
it does give you damage bonus, I guess. Other than that, there's Energize. You gotta Energize with Herald on your gun. You gotta Energize with Concentration on your Ox. Simply just click, and since the update of Season 3, you can now Energize wherever, whenever you want to, which is cool. You don't have to go to your repair bench to do that. And yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. <laughs>